Well, welcome back to Tech Garage, presented by rockauto.com. Well, we got Project M&M, the Mercury makeover, in the shop, and it's time to dive into the engine. I got Tom with me from rockauto.com. Tom, you're a car guy. You're part owner of rockauto.com, and you don't mind getting your hands dirty? Nope, no, we, we started rockauto.com because I like to get my hands dirty. I enjoy working on cars, and, and they've never been clean since. Well, what do you got going over there? Well, we got two coils and two coil plugs and two spark plugs replaced, and I got two more to go. Well, you get to work, and I'll bring them up to speed. How do we get to the coils? And that's pretty cool. You remember in episode one, we had that P0300 misfire code. Well, it was misfiring. It wasn't running good, so we had to check spark. Simply just come over and started unplugging the coils here one at a time, called a power balance test. What that did, it took away the spark. If the engine missed worse, that means that the cylinder was contributing. If it didn't shake at all, it wasn't contributing to begin with. So we went ahead and found number one wasn't contributing. We got time to replace the coils, and we're going to go ahead and replace them all. And I'll show you why we're replacing them all. What's a coil? What's a coil actually do? Well, this is pretty neat. I got a little ground out one here, and you can see it. What's going on is you have a primary side and you have a secondary side. So you're taking your voltage in when a points or a computer opens up and induces a voltage to the secondary side, and it makes a ginormous spark that's what's happening and a coil is only as strong as its weakest link so we chose to go ahead and replace them all because of that weak link we're going to replace every one of these coils on the car and we're not going to have any issues we're also going to replace the spark plugs and that's important i went ahead and printed up our spark plug gap right here you can see the spark plug gap is 52 thousandths and we also got our torque specifications here our torque specifications is 11 foot pounds for the actual spark plug itself and the coil bolt is 89 inch pounds that's important. Tom, how do you gap a spark plug? Well, these days they usually come from the factory um, properly gapped, but it's always good to check. Maybe the spark plug is used in several different engines. So uh, I just carefully w try to avoid damaging the, uh, the platinum tip. This particular spark plug gap gauge, I slide it down until it hits, and that's supposed to be 0.052 or something like that, and that's where it's at. That's perfect. Now also on a coil, I got the one out that wasn't firing. You can see the coil right here. I sent my meter up to ohms of resistance. Now you can do this at home. You can check a coil. What I'm going to do is go across the primary side and the secondary side. I go across the two top terminals here and you can see on the top terminal I'm getting OL. So there's actually no continuity going through it. I'll take this new coil and I'll show you. If I go across the top here from one terminal to the other, I have about 0.7 ohms of resistance, and then I can go to the secondary down here to where it's actually firing, and about 5,000 ohms of resistance. So this coil is going to be in much, much better shape. Also, the boots. When you're dealing with the boots on these coils, these boots come apart too, don't they, Tom? Do you guys got a solution for that? Yes, it's similar to the spark plug wires of old. This is a rubber, rubber material boot with a, a metal conductor inside, and, and these can often fail before the, the uh, coil does. So when you replace the spark plugs, it's a good idea to replace these, and they come as a set now. So you, you may not have to replace your coil every single time you replace your spark plugs. Well, Tom, what do you say we head over to the computer? We'll look at the boots, the packages, and some of the coils that we actually put on our project m, &M. Well, our P300 just turned out to be a misfire on cylinder number one. But Tom, I mean, we replaced all the coils. The uh, chain's only as strong as its weakest link. I mean, we have options there as well. Yeah, we do. The, uh, there's the ignition coil, and it always comes with a new boot. Or you can just replace the boots sometimes. They're kind of the equivalent of the old um, spark plug wires that came on, on older cars. You have a, an insulator that could crack. You have a conductor inside that could break. So it's a good idea when you replace the spark plugs to just replace those ignition coil boots at the same time. And I'll show you that they come as sets now similar to spark plug wires. So I'll pull up our, our grand marquee. You know, while you're doing that, I mean, what if I'm just going to do like an intake manifold, sometimes or valve cover gaskets, I have to pull those off and there's no problem with the coil whatsoever, but the boot's going to tear, the boot's going to rip, the insulator's going to fall off. I don't want to spend $80 on a coil. Yeah, these are, these are much less expensive, comparable to the cost of an old spark plug wire set. So you have the, the boots and then you have the, the new conductor inside and you, have a, you get all eight for this. V8. Yeah, that's crazy. Number one, the price is crazy. And number two, I mean, there's the picture right there. So if I pull it out, maybe I don't even know all that stuff's available. Now I know to even pull that off of my coil, I know that I can go ahead and replace that along with the insulator wire. That's awesome. Yeah, it's the way to go. Now I'll tell you what, we got a video question of the week coming up and you don't want to miss it. So stick around. There's plenty more Tech Garage when we return right after this break.